Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Movie Time. Hopefully you're doing well. Today I'm going to explain an action fantasy movie about a 16-year-old boy named Tom who lives in a gang-ridden area. He employs his newly required superpowers to dismantle the gang network. iBoy is a 2017 science fiction teen superhero action thriller film distributed by Netflix starring Bill Milner and Macy Williams. It is based on the 2010 novel of the same name by Kevin Brooks. It was filmed in and around East Central London, in particular the Middlesex Street Estate. The movie starts with a boy, namely Tom, going to school through a boulevard. As he arrives at school, he looks at a girl named Lucy. She meets him and greets him. She further says that she has heard that he is an intelligent student. She asks him for help, and she invites him to her house. When in the evening Tom goes to that house, he sees that her brother is laying on the floor. Seeing this, he gets worried and nervous. He goes to her room and asks about her brother. But before he enters her room, he sees a man whose face is covered with a piece of cloth filming something. Then, the second man follows the first one. As they see Tom, they aim at him, but before they can shoot, he runs away. They attack him before he calls the police. Tom sustained injuries, and he is taken to the hospital. When he opens his eyes, he sees his grandmother sitting next to him. The doctor tells Tom that he need not worry. He says when they shot him, the bullets missed his head because he was holding the phone near his ear. The bullets hit the phone and reflected. However, some pieces of his phone went into his brain. He says those pieces of the phone are difficult to take out. Sadly, the doctor announces that Tom has to bear those pieces in his brain until he dies. When he is returning home with his grandmother, he looks at the radio in the car, and he can see the rays of those numbers. As he comes home, those rays reflect in his eyes, and he becomes sad as to what has happened to him. The next day when he wakes up, his grandmother tells him that the other day someone tried to assault him. She tells him that he should go to his friend Lucy to inquire about her. When he reaches Lucy's house, he sees her brother sitting on the sofa. They talk with each other. Tom sees the rays of Wi-Fi and other devices in the house. Then he runs into Lucy, talks with her, and goes home. When he looks out the window, he notices signal rays all around him. His mind spins and he faints. This is happening because of those pieces of phone that went into his brain. After that, he sees a vision of a bad boy who was famous in their school. Everyone gets teased by him. Tom realizes that when Lucy was harassed, he was at her house and the phone fragment entered his brain. He tells these things to his best friend at school, but he tells him that he has misunderstood. How can phone fragments enter his brain? They later board the bus with other students. Tom sees their phone signals. Suddenly, his best friend invites him to the party that evening. He asks him if he can come or not. Tom does not say anything. Tom has now arrived at school. During the free time, all the students are using their phones, but Tom is glancing at bad boy. Tom notices his activities because he believes he was the one who harassed Lucy a few days ago. Later, Bad Boy receives a video clip, and when Tom uses his brain signal to see the video, he sees that this is the same video of those two covered men who were in Lucy's house. Tom becomes angry, and he attracts all the rays of the phone in the classroom. Thus, the Bad Boy's phone gets hot, and he throws it away. In the next scene, we see Tom go to the party in the evening. At the party, he sees Bad Boy's friends who were wearing the same shoes that the men were wearing in Lucy's house. Thereupon, Tom turns his doubts into truth and believes that Bad Boy is truly involved in the incident that happened at Lucy's house. Tom then stares at the Bad Boy, which the latter does like, and he comes to Tom to ask what is wrong with him. Before they have a fight, Tom's best friend calms them down. Then, Tom returns home and he sees signals on his way home. He sees the smallest things, which a man cannot see with his naked eyes. Using these powers, Tom learns hacking, and he texts the bad boy and tells him that he is keeping an eye on him. He sends the same text to the bad boy's friends. At night, he goes to meet Lucy and asks her to go out for enjoyment. Lucy tells him that she will not come to school. Then, Tom makes her understand that if she does not come to school, she will not pass the exam. He encourages her. While they are talking and walking on the street, they come across the bad boy and his friends. The bad boy expresses sympathy for Lucy and promises to investigate to find out who is to blame. Tom becomes angry with him and tells him to go. Bad boy and Tom fight. Tom then escorts Lucy to her home. 
On his way back, he notices the bad boy and his friends attempting to steal a car. They sit in the car after breaking its lock. Using his powers, Tom locks the car, and they are trapped in it. Tom enjoys seeing them trapped in the car. Tom then increases the heat in the car, which leads to smoke and fire. Tom then asks them over the car radio if they are the perpetrators of Lucy's harassment. They realize that the hacker is not sparing their lives. They accept their crime. Tom further asks them about their boss, and they say he is a drug dealer. Tom releases them all and comes home. The next day, Tom reaches the house of the drug dealer. Tom urinates at his car and films. As soon as the drug dealer sees the video clip, he rushes outside, but he sees no one outside. In the meantime, Tom enters his house. He steals drugs from the house and comes home. He packs the drugs into small packets and leaves them in the house of the drug dealer's gang. As the police raid the house, they find the drugs, they arrested them all. Tom now empties the bank account of the drug dealer. The latter calls his boss and informs him about the incident. His boss sends him more drugs. Tom arrives at the place where the drug had to come from. The drug dealer catches Tom and beats him. But Tom increases the electromagnetic rays in the area and everyone there feels pain in their body. Tom gets hurt and faints on the street. As he comes home in the morning, to his astonishment, he sees the drug dealer and his boss at home. They threaten his parents. His boss informs Tom that he possesses numerous abilities, including the ability to control rays and hack mobile phones and bank accounts. His boss says that Tom works for him and that he hacks other people's bank accounts and brings the money to him. He threatens that if he does not do so for him, he will rape or kill Lucy as he has held her hostage. Lucy and her grandmother are both kidnapped by them. He then asks Tom to send him money, which he does. He hacks Lucy's phone and dials 911 from her phone. The police trace the location and raid the place immediately. The boss tells Tom that his best friend told him about his powers. He further threatens him and asks him to send the money to his account as soon as possible. Next, they and Tom go to the place where Lucy is being held hostage. As they reach there, they come to know that the police have raided the house and the bad boy has hidden Lucy inside. In the meantime, Lucy steals their gun and aims it at them. Vehemently, she scolds them and says she was like their sister and classmate, and despite that, they harassed her. Lucy discloses that when the bad boy and his friend came to visit Lucy, she identified them at once, but she kept the information hidden. She asked them to apologize to her, and they apologized. As Lucy runs out of the house, the boss of the drug dealer intercepts her again. The boss threatens to send all the money into his bank account or he will shoot her. Tom becomes enraged and blasts their cell phones, injuring them. However, the boss chases the two while they are running. Tom then attracts all the rays and blasts them. They all die, but he also passes out. The next day, when he wakes up, he finds himself in the hospital with his grandmother sitting next to him. In the next scene, when everything returns to normal, he goes to Lucy's house, but his best friend meets him differently. He says to Tom that he is embarrassed and seeks repentance. Tom tells him that he knew it was you the other day at Lucy's house, and he also saw her filming. He tells him never to come before him again. After that, Tom goes to Lucy's house, and they talk about beautiful things. The movie ends with a scene of Lucy and Tom standing on the terrace and looking at high buildings. Thanks for watching this video. For more such entertaining and fantasy movies, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for the latest update.